Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Zero number 119WS. This is a piece of stainless steel, cushion, adhesive, gasketing, wide. That's what Zero calls it. We're going to call it a V-cushion. You can see why we're going to call it a V-cushion. It's going to be made of stainless steel. Okay. The 119WS means stainless v-cushion with um, with a self-adhesive psa pressure sensitive adhesive applied to the back if you want the same model without the adhesive it would be a 19 ws that simple uh, let me give you the dimensional properties of the item they have it an inch and an eighth wide right then an uncompressed thickness is quarter inch That's going to compress down. If you've got a typical eighth of an inch margin between the door and frame, this is going to work splendidly. A lot of people like V-Cushion because it's incredibly long-lasting. It's very durable. The only time that uh, it fatigues is when it's been unintentionally damaged, uh, is where you'll see someone that will replace this. Or uh, with nails, just years and years and years of use will fatigue the weather stripping where it's been pierced through with the nail. If you ever take note of old uh, V-cushion bronze weather stripping typically because that's more common than stainless, uh, you'll see that. So this client wants pressure sensitive adhesive. I don't have a lot of long-term experience with a pressure sensitive tape holding weather stripping on, but if you're not in a position to nail something on, this is perfect for you. I will give you the thickness of the material, at least according to the caliper. Point oh one eight inch or maybe oh one nine oh one nine so about a forty eighth of an inch something in that range okay available in the site in several different lengths uh, everywhere from two foot pardon me probably twelve inch out to eight foot if you have need for a custom length uh, by all means let us know order the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. And that's how we'll ship it out. This has been trimmed uh, to a specific length. You'll at least get a relatively decent uh, factory edge without compromising the original shape of the material. Okay. Sound seal rated, air seal rated. There's a link below, there's an image, I should say, below this video showing that important dimensional property along with a graphic showing the material. There is a link below this video to a document called Mounting Instructions, which is very handy, very typical. Um, the short version of installation, uh, especially when you have a piece of straight material like this, really nothing to worry about in terms of it. Uh, you're not going to stretch it out unintentionally. What you're going to want to be sure of is that the frame is completely clean, free of dust and debris. If it's been recently painted or stained, Make sure all that is uh, cured. Uh, go through it completely. When they say uh, completely in the mounting instructions, they use all caps. It needs to be clean. It needs to be dry. And once you think you've got it perfect, my suggestion, go back and do it a second time. If the frame is completely clean and free of dust and debris, the installation will go swimmingly. If not, it will be a point of failure uh, is the bottom line. Okay. Thoroughly clean the surface of the frame where gasketing is to uh, be applied, uh, applying it per the drawing down below. You can see that you're going to be applying it to the rabbet of the frame, and that will be at the lock side and the header and the hinge side. Makes for a very nice uh, sort of mechanical seal. Uh, they want the head uh, cut first and run the entire length. Then you're going to bring your jams up to the underside of the head. And again, just clean and free of dust and debris. There's a link below this video to a document called Product Brochure, which is very helpful as well because it will show you all the variants of this V cushion. The smaller, uh, 9 16 width, then the 3 quarter inch, and then the inch and an eighth, which is the 19 or the 119. Uh, you can see how that part number changes when you include the pressure sensitive adhesive. And on that same page, you will see other 
uh, interlocking weather stripping that is very common as well. Uh, and that material is generally going to be available in a bronze sort of material. Uh, or zinc uh, is, as well, you're going to get some of that. But the wood door material that you'll see above is bronze. Uh, you'll get the hemmed edge, the two nested hooks that will fit together, then your L angles. Doors and windows that material can be used for. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full line zero product catalog and review all things zero weather stripping related uh, that we sell uh, are, is also listed there and helpfully uh, is a link to the manufacturer's website. I'm partial to zero and it's because they've taken over the years a very unique approach to solving weather stripping problems and many of the items that you will see in their catalog are quite unique to them. If you have more than an occasional need for weather stripping or if you're involved in solving particular problems, you might very well uh, find Zero a very helpful resource. If you have any questions on the 119 WS V-Cushion Stainless Pressure Sensitive Adhesive Weather Stripping or any other Zero product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.